That's a hard call. What is he? Okay. He's trying to meme up. Eerie's he, trolling us again. Yo. Making an offer. Defunk. He refused. Defunk. 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 Notice me. If I gave you two bucks, would you go to the vending machine and get me a Dr. Pepper? <laughs> You're such a homie. Okay. Right, so now we've got to start an Eerie versus That's Oreo Kirby. <laughs> oh, whoa, that's a. What are you, Grubhub? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. Um, so far, percent going back and forth, but ending slightly in Zelda's favor in these first interactions. Uh, oh, Ooh, I, that that's was... what it looks like when you mash out of Squirtle's grab. That is. Uh, yeah, I've never seen that actually. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. Um, and Squirtle's dash attack enough to break the night while it's charging, too. Uh. I just think so scary. Eerie looks like he's aware of, of Oreo Kirby's habit to up above the ledge when people are trying to edge trap or uh, two frame him. Yeah, he's set just far enough away to stop that from happening. Yep. Oh, oh, he went aggressive! Oh. Oh. Sorry, Ivy's down here is still bigger. It's. <laughs> Squirtle Busted. <recovery. laughs> Busted. Oh, oh, nice oh, back oh. air. Catch these toes. Now we are back to even. Looking like a Cinderella but Eerie sorry. really quick racking it up. <laughs> Trying to down here on the two frame again. I didn't think it would have killed actually if it hit. No, it's too early. Probably now it might. Mm. Eerie racking up this damage though, building a lead real quick. If he keeps his momentum, he'll be sitting pretty for the next stock to try and close this game out. Oh, oh. there it is. Yeah, see, even that like barely killed. Yeah. I lose the tower spot, but. Oh, what? What good angles. Here you're going high. Kind of a questionable choice considering Zelda wasn't really that close to the ledge yet. Yeah. We'll say we'll slow him and do that. Nice read snap the up B, <laughs> covering both his high and low angles. He tries to down air on the shield, I'm sure. But he's happy to just take those up tilts and get that twinkle toe again. <laughs> he wants it. Ooh, nice parry. I'm liking these quick decisions by Yuri though when he's coming back from the ledge, just to like not give Zelda too much time to set up on him. Yep, it's, you need to keep the pressure going. Right. Well, and, and the big thing is, it's like when the knights when the knights out, if you wait on the ledge too much, he's gonna clip you beneath that ledge. Oh my lord! Call him little, out. A little bit thirsty. Thank you so much. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Uh, okay, Zard. This is why what? Zelda needs Link. Because yeah. when there's dragons afoot, you need a man with a sword. <laughs> man. I don't know if that phantom can quite fill... He's just a shell. He's just a shell of a man with a sword. <laughs> Falls apart a little too easy. That being said, Zelda coming back into it. I believe I believe in Oreo Kirby's ability to adapt, so we'll see what he does to deal with this. I mean, really, it's the Ice or Edge guards that were yeah, that's putting what it was ruined two of his stocks. Right. Yeah. Um, he can either try and punish the down air if he gets the ledge at certain timings, but or do like I was saying before, mix up going above the ledge because I hadn't seen him use that mix up once. No, he didn't. He'll probably he's good for for doing that kind of adaptation, so he'll most likely be doing that this yeah. game now. Ooh, twinkle toes. A lot of uh, careless move placements gets you spawn. gets you twinkle toes by Zelda. <laughs> it's kind of rough. Somehow beating out the neutral B with uh, forward air on that off the ledge. Oh. Squirtle. Interesting. He didn't immediately okay. try to follow up. Mhm. Mm a little too early to try and catch that up B. It's so weird. Teleport recoveries. It feels like they're going to be really fast, but the amount of startup delays it like a lot more than you expect. Oh yeah. And I'm definitely seeing too a, a trend of like big momentum shifts between these two players. <laughs> Couldn't push into the night <laughs> to try and grab Zelda. That was interesting. I think what we'll see is whoever takes the first stock here is going to have a lot of momentum going into the rest of this game. Wait, look, yep. Yep. right there. 
punishing him on the neutral. If he, yeah. if he avoids this invincibility and gets an open up, uh... I say that, but Zard's kind of a scary character sometimes when you're at these percents. Yeah, a lot. There we go. I like that. Yeah, that was really smart. The drift to get away, but gets caught there. And never mind. Not, not yeah, able, able to get enough momentum again. to swing it back the other way. Zard closing out the stock. And not taking too much damage for it either, which is huge. But once again, Squirtle racking up, racked up to 42 here. Neutral B's out, you gotta be tight against Zelda, otherwise she'll just yep. get out of your combos. Sometimes she'll even kill you for it. So she can range those Twinkle Toes. Oh my, that was so clever. Since since she threw the knight early enough, the withdraw interacted with the knight, bounced off, made him vulnerable again, the swing caught him. Um, oh, just getting out zoned by Zelda's pressure on the small stage. You can see the power that the Phantom has just being able to control the entire stage once he's set up. Yeah, but he's, he's, he's got to get the space to do it. Yeah, I mean, he's, it is opening up for him right now. Just keep that set up. Keep control of stage. Oh, that was, that was smart to use a tether to just kind of stay below all the mix-ups that were happening, there, or all the trapping that was happening there. But Oreo Kirby closing up the stock with dash attack anyway, only 54%. And right now, I'm feeling a little bit of a momentum shift. But Eerie trying to pull it back desperately. Nair's out, catches the spot dodge. You can set up the two frame again, yeah. Yeah, at some point he's gonna have to switch gears from trying to just two frame him into more like yeah. he's trying to get honest ledge traps. Mm -hmm. Try to set up something a little different, mix it up, and realize yeah. he doesn't know what's coming every time. I mean, here he has a tendency for that. He likes to go for reads on the ledge trap situation. Like, up he up, sm up smashes on rolls very often. Um, tries to up air when you think you're when he thinks you're gonna jump. Ooh, looking a little thirsty. Yeah, he wanted it. Still want revenge on the yeah. dragon, and there, no, oh, not good yet. di, excellent di. I think the, that was the sour spot of the high uh, hitbox. Oh my oh. god! He wanted it. This boy is a mad lad. <laughs> Look at this dude! Who said Zelda wasn't cool? Clip that! Clip that, boys! GR smash? Make the comeback? Does he do that if it's his last stock? <laughs> no, it's Shane, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think you would too. It. I've done it on my last stock. <laughs> I did that on. The, the, one, <laughs> the one Susie's I won against Franch, I, yeah. did, I did the Wolf Side B last stock, last game, game five on the reset. You were a madman. <laughs> I was like, let's go. <laughs> Tournament on the line? All or nothing, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're back with Kalos, much, much larger stage. Yeah, it lets him get away from the night. He doesn't have to interact with it as much. It's weird because you think zoners usually like big stages, but Zelda's an exception because of the unique way she wa wants to use her uh, projectile tools, so to speak. Yeah, the, and the more space you can cover with the knight, the better. Mm -hmm. Though, that being said, these platforms are going to give her a couple more outs out of uh, these re ledge situations, which Eerie's already seeming to be struggling with. So he's really going to have to lever leverage his onstage game if he wants to close these stocks early. Um, Catch him with the down tilt a little bit. Ooh, stuffs the stuffs the upbeat. Gets Eerie the willing, grab. He was willing to play really patient there and just wait for his opening. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's the read on the on the roll love smash. Ivy Sword just oh, th those are some big hit boxes. Mm -hmm. Those are some. Well, Absolute lat. And the, the the thing is too, I think Ivysaur actually has one of the strongest up smashes in the game. Like it's fully, gotta be up there. Fully charged. It's like I think Peach and Peach and Ivy I think are two of the strongest up smashes. I think. Don't quote me on that. I'm just from all the characters that I have enough experience with, that's that that's the ones I remember. Um, and then Pikachu is obviously up there too. Um, but yeah, I mean that closed out the stock early and right now he uh, he's lapped him in percent. On the second stock. It's looking big for Eerie. Eerie's been really content of just like playing it very safe till openings come. I like to see that Eerie's also not too discouraged from getting hit with that clip worthy play. Um, <laughs> obviously with some solid adaptations going on here in the game game three. Okay, you gotta keep your head in it. Oh, oh calls him right out though. It. Charizard just couldn't get there quick enough to pressure the knight setup. Too big. Mm-hmm. 
And the knight keeping her safe, avoiding the invincibility. Now that's the oh, risky yep, situation. Oh, yeah, there it is. I think he can tech that, actually. Maybe? It's kind of hard because of the angle, but... It looked like he bounced off the wall just really late. Anyway. Zelda Bat got it. You, you leave a second of an opening. You're just going to neutral B and get, have right. to get off. Solid stock lead for Eerie here, and he's looking to rack up that percent already. Yeah, just roll doing what he does best. Yep. That's not the way you die, you know. So when Zelda, when Zelda down throws you, you DI behind her. Uh, yeah. Up, up and behind her. And that actually enables you to, to jump or air dodge out. It's kind of a mix-up at that point. Um, if you have a fast aerial, you can also do that. Um, poker to beat out. But you risk... Oh! Followed him all the way down! And that evens up the game. 59%. Really 59% is no small number, but... On Kalos... Yeah, you can live a lot longer. Trying to two-frame that. That actually made it kill. Yeah, it, it would have been hit. <laughs> I understand the reasoning. Charizard just decided to body Woo! the knight and the princess all in one play. Amazing. Yeah. Like I said, I really like that stage pick from, from Eerie. Yeah, it was really good. This, despite like the trade-off, he already knew that he wasn't getting, getting his game plan off of ledge trapping anyway. So he said, I'll give him an off the ledge, but I'm going to be able to avoid the knight like, mm -hmm. basically for free. Because that, I mean, you know, it also applies to him too. Yeah. Zelda's ledge trapping being one of her strongest features. Mm -hmm. 